Hey, my gorgeous Veilers, here is your February 2021 overview. Aries, lots of awesome stuff for my little haul bags of the Zodiac this month. Interesting surprises and big wins all round. You will have to make the effort and I think you'll enjoy putting in the hard yards to reap those rewards. Taurus, new friends to be made this month and you'll enjoy the newness of everything right now. There is also a friendship that will finish, but you won't even notice their absence. Gemini, be daring, be adventurous, and it's all in your career sector. You've got nothing to lose, so be a bit cheeky and ask for what you want. And in relation to dollars, again, ask for whatever you want. Cancer, you've got love stuff happening this month and it'll be the second part of the month that shines the brightest for these sexy times. Also, it's showing success in work and also dollars for the month. Leo, beautiful month for love, my gorgeous Leos, and quite a lot of socializing happening. Health is getting better and better, and you'll be happy to put in the extra effort at work. Just a beautiful month all round. Virgo, a few interesting scenarios will arise this month, and everyone will be watching as to how you handle it. Being so right about everything can sometimes be so wrong. It'll be about how you handle it, so don't take it all too seriously. Libra, there's short trips coming up this month and you will find yourself extremely busy all month. You will find in all areas of life that you will feel most privileged and most blessed. Congratulations. Scorpio, very exciting stuff for the young Scorps in relation to love and in relation to health. You must rest, otherwise the universe will knock you off your feet to give you an enforced rest. Love really heats up this month. Sagittarius, work really needs to take a back seat this month as your love life needs serious work and attention. That is all. Capricorn, if you got something you need to put to bed once and for all, you will do it this month. You'll find such pleasure in work and there are a few love issues. Sort out what your heart wants first. Aquarius, be wary of unnecessary conversations. So basically, don't say much, don't elaborate, just a basic yes or no will do to the interrogative style questioning. You may lose someone over what you say. Be careful. And lastly, Pisces, all about the home this month, also abundance and prosperity too. Furnish, luxuriate and add little things to your home to make it welcoming. You'll find you want to stay home more this month and just have a few early nights when you can. Now that was your lot for February 2021. I'll be back next month for the overview of March 2021. I love taking you beyond the veil and love is nothing but. This is the word to go, yo. yo. Take me out to the ball game. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a very special, very sporty edition of Grown Ass Women TV. That's a hashtag. Hashtag Gaw TV. Please use that hashtag when you want to join the discussion on social media. I've got my ladies here, Lisa and Mickey. How are we feeling tonight? Amazing. Oh, so amazing. Good. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. So good. Yeah. We're so excited for this new guest. And But the best news, you guys, I, I actually boxed you about this. 99 cent store has an app what? has an app you spend 20 dollars, i got four dollars off and then so like, oh i God. have the rewards i have the rewards now i'm like we love that super excited about that. it that is very this is breaking news <laughs> this is so a tv fun. exclusive breaking you guys, news. You guys it, this is just, yeah breaking news. my whole week download it <laughs> available in your app store this just did <laughs> 99 cent store big news huge big news bears okay well before we get into that let's make sure that we do a few things if you're going to be joining us here on god tv we do ask that you please like this episode very important thumbs please up. yeah give us a thumbs up just go ahead and just click it why not 
I mean, I think you like the show. You're here. Why not? Uh, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, of course. Even some of our loyal fans that are in the chat room right, right now. Hi, guys. Uh, Hi. They are subscribed, so make sure that you are subscribed to the show. And finally, click that bell icon to enable notifications so you never miss a future episode. Another quick reminder, guys. If you love this show in video format, you're going to love us on our hashtag Gawcast. We're available for downloads. Uh, Anchor, Spotify, Apple, wherever you listen to podcasts, you can definitely listen to this show in audio format. And make sure to leave a review as we're new to the podcast game and we're looking to grow it. We're so excited to be in, in a podcast format, finally. So I can't, I'm so excited. I just think it gives everybody a whole different way to listen to our show and it's just a whole different, because not everybody watches, you know, everybody kind of picks their platforms. That's right. what I run should. Like everybody kind of picks their platform. Same with social media. Like some people are more into Twitter. Some people are more into Instagram. Some people are more into podcasts. Some people are more into visual shows. And me personally, I've always been a visual show person, but the mm -hmm. amount of people who listen to podcasts and only podcasts is, is amazing. So yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. It it's is. a new way to it experience is. the show. And, and we love that. Uh, we have someone very special who is joining us uh, here in just a moment. Mickey, do you want to do uh, a little intro for this fabulous guest who's a total sure. game? Well, you did so well with the take me out to the ball game. I wish I knew <laughs> take me out to the crowd. We have Bryce Wilson on the show today, who is the starting pitcher for the Atlanta Braves, which is so cool. So cool. we've never had, do you guys like baseball? Do you watch yes. baseball? I, I actually have been to a lot of baseball games when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. going to games. I don't really watch it on television. My a brother was always big on watching it. He played, he loved it, but whatever he would watch it, but I would always fall asleep. <laughs> watching on tv but I, I, the I, games yeah I, yeah I have the mlb um app so when only and then i'm not gonna i only watch it when the cubs are playing so i'm a cubs, cubs fan, fan. Mm, i'm wearing cubs. the hat of cubs the championship hat but i turned it around out of respect <laughs> that's wow. why you did that so I, did. I, I, didn't love want, yeah. I didn't want the cubs like right in his face so now we're going to have yeah. to call you out when he gets in here and be like, oh, Great. so Lisa has a favorite team. Guess what? Not yours. No kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so that's mean. way too controversial. We wouldn't do that to you. Or would we? Stay tuned. Uh, I, I am. Uh, we'll, we'll ask him what, what, what he's wearing and drinking. And we'll get to that in a moment. But you can see that I, I'm kind of on my own team here. I've got my own. Hey, you said baseball hat. This is as cool as I get with that. So we're trying my best. You are so Sporty Spice right now. I love it. I'm trying you to be very Mel C. Yeah. yeah, Sporty Spice. You've been well, really out of your comfort zone. You've been out of your comfort zone because last week oh. you wore an um, outfit that you would never wear. Right? Yeah. Like, was it? I wore a hoodie for our Al Snow episode. I was trying my damnedest to rock it, but uh, yeah, I can't exactly say that I'm comfortable in this hat, but I like the message and I like yeah. it because it shows off a nice hoop earring moment. Oh, that is nice. Oh, yeah, there you go. So there's that. It was like just like this bad hair day. Yeah. Yes. yes. You know. I love it. I love a good hat though. These are like, this is like the staple, you know. I like those. Some type of hat that I found in a truck stop. Someone actually this sent this. Was this Ella or Chris? Krista that sent me this hat. I love okay. truck stops. Truck stop I, hats. Oh my God, they're the best. I love a good truck stop. I love oh. a good truck stop find. I think on the road, it was always the safe space. You knew you were going to get a clean bathroom. Yep. You know, if you were too drunk and somebody needed, you needed to throw somebody in the shower, you could book it in. You know, <laughs> get the showers. See how sporty yeah. I am? That's like total sports term. Hit the shower, bro. You hit the showers, kid. Showers, kid. <laughs> Well, we're about to shower our guest with affection. See that little segue I just did? I, uh, yeah. I was trying to get away from the sporty ones. I knew I'd get myself into trouble there. But Bryce Wilson from the Atlanta Braves is here. I'm feeling brave. How about you, ladies? I'm so brave. Let's so, meet so him. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Bryce Wilson to Ga TV. Yay, welcome hey. Bryce to the show. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Yay. Thanks oh, for our being first here. Baseball play, our first baseball player, you guys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you are indeed. Well, we, we call all of our, our male guests, uh, our deserving male guests, which you clearly are, a grown-ass man. So you're now a GAM. So welcome to the <laughs> GAM TV, really. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> well, we're so excited to talk to you about uh, about your career and and some personal stuff we want to ask you about. Nothing too personal. We're not that crazy, but we want to welcome you onto the show with a shot. Let's get things loosened up in here, shall we, ladies? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. What are we all drinking? I'm I'm doing um bun bun boo, um rum. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What you're are you drinking? This, this, have, is uh... got, oh, this is thirty. This is thirty seven dollars, you guys. What? What are you, Rockefeller? <laughs> Yeah, no, this my boyfriend has super expensive taste. And I'm like, you need to back off on that expensive taste. Bloody dog. Go back, go back to brown bagging. <laughs> brown bagging. 
Yeah, I'm I'm taking uh, some uh, 1942 tequila. Oh, tequila nice. here as well. Yeah. I can't say mine's thirty seven dollars, but you know it came from a fantastic <laughs> shelf at the gas station, so I know it's <laughs> I know it's great. What about you, Nikki? Tito's, a little Tito's. Ooh, nice. Ooh, it's even nice. Nice. Tito's and um, diet ginger ale. You know, just fabulous. <laughs> Well, Bryce, do you have, you have any cheers, like phrases that you use when you actually do a cheers or do you just wing it? I think it all depends on the situation. It's usually just, just winging it. Fabulous, right. fabulous. Yeah. We're just I'm so happy to have you here. here. Yeah. We're feeling yeah. like you're Bryce blind a brave. To Bryce Wilson. To Bryce right? Wilson. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, this is a big one. I made it really. Cheers. Uh-oh. Hooray! Oh. Lord oh. heaven. Woo! Mm. First, first important question for you, Bryce. Tequila, is it your drink of choice or are you just feeling wild today or? So used to, it was pretty much when I was younger, pretty much whatever I could get my hands on. Um, and then it, then it was mostly tequila. And then now it's either tequila or whiskey. One of the two. Yeah. Yeah. Have he is tried? from North Carolina. He is from North Carolina. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. used to live in High Point. I love North Carolina. I think it's gorgeous. Oh, okay. What kind yeah, of whiskey about, can, we, can we ask you that? What kind of brand? Ooh. Usually Jack Daniels. That is yeah, so. Yeah, they're specific. I like their Tennessee Fire. It's 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 my favorite. Like, like Fireball. Fireball? It. It, it tastes like Fireball. Yeah. It's like a stronger Fireball. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm don't like. This, I'm not a cinnamon drinker. I love their honey, but I just I think um, I'm from Virginia, so I spent a lot of time in North Carolina too. When I first started okay. wrestling, we would go through do a lot of those there. But I love North Carolina. Me too. That's a, but whiskey is definitely a Virginia, mid-Atlantic type of man yeah. drink. Like all the boys drink. <laughs> Either Jack or Jim Bean, I felt like. It's very much a wrestler thing too. All the wrestlers love Jack. Because they stole it from their dad's liquor cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's the Undertaker's drink of choice is Jack Daniels. I know that. Oh, I yeah. know. Okay. Jack I, I yeah. drank with that man, and it was uh, probably the worst I've ever Not felt fun. in my life. I was trying to keep up with the Undertaker, <laughs> who was massive. And, and You're insane. You're I know. Insane. He told me I was. He's like, because Val, everyone tries to do that. Why did you do that? I was like, I don't know, sir. I just thought it was how we were bonding with doubles. I, it was in Norway we having for a Germany. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I thought we were having a moment. moment until I was, you know, dying. But yeah, that, and I digress. Well, well Bryce, we do a little game it. here on the show. And we ask, who, we already know what you're drinking, but we, we would ask what you're wearing. But we want to talk to you about T-shirts specifically, because we know that you have some T-shirts coming out. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, you know, we have a, we have a few designs out. Um, I have two different logos of mine. They're, they're going around on the T-shirts and then a couple of different designs, um, you know, Really, we're just we're just going off designs that we can think of off our head that you know relate to me and relate to where I'm from. Uh, my favorite one, it's a, a so I I'm in North Carolina. I'm from like the country rural part, um, so I do a lot of a lot of hunting and stuff like that. So my favorite design that I have so far, it's a it's a deer skull with a baseball bats behind it. Um, so yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm excited about that and getting all that up and running. Fantastic. We'll make sure we Speaking put all of North the links Carolina, in the you guys. description. What's North Carolina. Like? So you're, you've seen Bull Durham. Yes. And I mm -hmm. happened to see it two nights ago. And okay. so did you ever go to a game since they're still there as a child or? Yeah. So as a kid, I've actually been, I went to a lot of games there. Um, Bull Durham is actually based in the old ballpark. Um, they, they have a new one now, but I've actually played in both of them. So, so oh, those were cool did? experiences. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's awesome. Well, Mickey is oh. still um, an active WWE superstar and, and, you know, we try to keep up with it, especially to watch Mickey any chance we get. And we've, you know, with, with this new COVID situation, Miss Rona rearing her ugly head, they have had to do all of their shows in an empty stadium. So how weird yeah. is it for you in 2020 to pitch with no fans? Because I mean, it's got to affect your, your mindset, right? Or, or how's it been for you to do that? Um, it, was, it was definitely an adjustment period. Uh, you know, it took a little bit to, to figure out how to, to get the uh, adrenaline that you normally have with fans, you know, 40, 50,000 people. Um, the adrenaline was the hard thing uh, for me. But, you know, once I kind of got used to it, it, it kind of, you know, you know, you have crowd noise, fake crowd noise playing in the background and whatnot. You oh, know, you do. yeah, yeah. Uh, and you get you get used to it. Um, and then I know, like, when we got into the playoffs, uh, they, uh, they they let eleven thousand people in. And oh, they did! Wow. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. Down oh, the, uh, so many seats between the families yeah. and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And I know like just those 11,000 people coming from nobody to 11,000 was, was, it was like the stadium was packed. It was, oh, it was wow. a shock for sure. Yeah. 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 Oh Different Definitely. Well, so, we I guess also- it doesn't bother you like the heckling, like, like, I would think like as a baseball player, a little bit more focused and not as, as a lot of like outside noise. Um, like for us wrestlers to, to perform in an empty state, a mm-hmm. stadium or arena, we feed off what they're reacting to. They're, oh, they're biting, they're biting. Let me turn it up. Let me okay. turn, let me yeah, turn yeah, yeah. up. You know what I mean? Or if like you're trying to block out someone that really doesn't like me and they're bad mouthing me, I can actually focus on, you know, pitching or, you know. Yeah, I think, I think for me, that's just as a baseball player and really, you know, any other sport where you don't really like feed off the fans, that's just something you kind of like have to get used to and you have to learn right. how to, to tune out. I know as, you know, when I first came up at age 20, that was very, it was something that, you know, I was very surprised about, you know, it's, you know, cause they're heckling you, but you know, sometimes it sounds personal and it's like, you know, <laughs> it can rub you the wrong way sometimes, but you just have to let it go in one ear and out the other. Yeah. Mickey, what are your thoughts on that? Because you still watch a lot of the tape and you start just cutting promos back at the fans. Mm. See, Do you? I, it, no, I you don't. At, like at, some point, on them. <laughs> <laughs> at, uh, at some point, you know, if I if I get a lot of time in the big leagues, you know, I might I might come back at, at some fans or something. But you know, being as young as I am, I'm just trying to, you know, harness my focus and whatnot. So you are young. Know, how old are you? Twenty three. Yeah, I just turned 23. Oh, wow. See, we're a terrible yeah, influence because we're like, yeah, maybe go, like we're going to see headlines in like a year of you like beating up all the fans and we're like, it's because you went on that show with those crazy women that were like, you know what? We should get a little bit of rage up in there. Yeah. Well, I just want you to start cutting promos and then we could get those promos on, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Because <laughs> they've never, never seen it in baseball before. They would go nuts mm-hmm. for it. Yeah. Or yeah. not. I don't know. They might <laughs> Give it a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Try it. Those girls told me on TV it would go over great. Yeah, yeah. 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 And if you need help, we got your back. We'll help. We'll help write your your ship. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, Yeah. we're your your writer. Perfect. (laughs) Funny promos. (laughs) Perfect. I actually got in trouble. Um, I used to live in Chicago, so I went to a lot of Cubs games. So Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, you know, so I I got in trouble. My hat is Cubs by Turn It Backwards out of respect for you. Bryce, she told us that she didn't want you to see it. We're like, we're going to call you out right in front of it. <laughs> I know, I know. I, but I wanted, the, I'm a, I wanted this logo show, so okay. But um, I got in trouble by one of the security guys because I always like to sit on the opposing right behind their uh-huh. dugout and heckle. Like, I, I'm not like the F word or like, I'm just yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I got in trouble. The guy came down and said, ma'am, I know you're Victoria from WWE, but you're not allowed to do that. And I go, wait, are you serious? Am I really getting in trouble for this? I just huh. said that um, um, the guy looks 12 years old. When did you guys <laughs> be able to bring your kids in? You know what I mean? That's all I said. That yeah. was it. It wasn't really bad. I thought, you know, uh, yeah, it wasn't my show. It, my bad. Huh. And I that's, apologize. That's funny, it your show, it like. that's, that's funny because Wrigley was one of the worst places I pitched as far as fans. Really? They're, they're on trouble. you. Yeah. With, now, was this a game where Lisa was in attendance? Because <laughs> uh, I guess not. <laughs> this is awkward. Now it's awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't hear it, right? Uh, okay, I'm gonna say I wasn't at that game, but maybe I was at that game. <laughs> oh, if you found that out, that would be. Amazing. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have right. to shift gears into something cheerful and, and get get our minds off of that. We did hear uh, Bryce that about a month or so ago you popped the question. And you're I now did. engaged. Congratulations to, for that. Thank you. Thank you. We want to hear the story. We're such girls. We're like, how'd you do it? Yes. Yes. We're so happy for you. We're so happy. Hey. I have the pictures right here. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yay. Mm-hmm. He's beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Babe alert. Have been together forever or? Have we? No, I don't know. I'm just asking or... the story. We just want the no, story. No, no. So, like um... notebook right now. Yeah, so in two, I met her in 2018 when I was playing in Mississippi, um, and we did we never really like dated or anything up until like a, about a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago, and uh, we we always kept in touch, um, you know, and whatnot. And then um, I saw her; she was actually she was a friend in Atlanta, and I was down there for our fan fest, and I saw her, and we met up, and we've been dating ever since. So. 
Uh, what hook did who, hook line is synced it? What what was it like? Like did she say something like, or she could just tolerate like or or handle your bad flaws? <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's what probably, marriage is. That's probably marriage it, is yeah. about handling the flaws. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you add like your schedule and your career, career, you know, into it. That's yeah. got to be a lot. Yeah. She's got to be a trooper. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's well, it's it's a little bit for both of us because she's uh she's finishing up pharmacy school. Um, in Memphis. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, so, so she's super busy as well, but we make it work. In Memphis? You know? In Memphis? She's in Memphis? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love wow. Memphis. Yeah. I'm in yeah. Nashville, so when you guys roll through, it's, I'm okay. right yeah. on your track from Atlanta to Memphis. Yeah, absolutely. You guys can pit stop. <laughs> Yeah, I'll show you all the cool places. But it's got to be hard, especially with now COVID. And again, Miss Rona, again, you know, people are not planning weddings uh, for big crowds anymore. I mean, yeah. how are you going to, how are you guys dealing with planning the wedding with this? Are you going to wait a bit and see if it calms down or? So, so we, with her being in pharmacy school, she has a better understanding about everything that's going on and mm -hmm. what's going on with the vaccine and whatnot. And so we went ahead and got a, got a venue for, for December um of this year and we're just going to roll with it and if those problems come up we're just going to adapt to them um yeah. but but in her professional opinion i guess you could say she doesn't think it'll be that big of a deal at that point yeah. oh, um, good. That's good just because hear. with with the vaccine you know when it got, starts to begin to get mass produced and whatnot yeah um, are you guys in the mindset do you want a big wedding or do you want like a smaller i felt like i wanted us we had a smaller wedding like it yeah. was so so we're planning on a big wedding um oh, yeah so we're we're i think we're gonna invite like 250 people nice. um, oh my God. yeah and the, the reason for that is just because like you know at each stage in our life we have different friend groups and whatnot so there's a lot of people like for me, I have my baseball friends, my people from back home, you know, family, whatnot. So, so it, it, it just builds up. Yeah. Oh my God. It's you almost, guys have to do almost, the thing where the people like they line up and they hold the bats and you walk under it. I saw it on the league oh, of their own and I really think it was. Have they ever done that? Have they ever done that at a, at a wedding? With the bats? Yeah, like their own. It's it a league of their own. So I, I know it must be a real yeah. thing because it's in a movie yeah. about baseball. So yeah. I we think can I know wrap the baseballs in and the baseball bats in like a flower <laughs> garland of sorts with yeah. little bouquets <laughs> oh my you god know? and you could like present the ring in like a baseball okay and this is why i'm not a wedding planner i'll stop let's get real <laughs> themed real weird <laughs> creepy Gosh. But we, we do oh have to ask goodness. how did you pop the question did you have were you nervous what well you know what location did you pick oh, and why was so like hey, will you? <laughs> so this is it's kind of funny i was so after the fact she was like you know, when you got down on a knee, you didn't really say much. And I was like, I'll be quite honest with you. I've pitched in front of 50, 60,000 people. That's the most nerve wracking thing I've ever done in my life. I yeah. love that. Yeah, it was. So, so we had, uh, we had pictures playing like professional pictures we were getting taken. And, uh, there's this cool spot right down by a waterfall. Um, and the photographer set it up where we were supposed to be like taking a picture of me, like standing a little bit behind her. Mm -hmm. And then I got down on the knee and called her name. She turned around. So. I love it. That's that's Did so she... great of you and thoughtful to have the foresight oh. to have a photographer there because we want to yeah. remember those moments and have the framed picture. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and her name's like, Rebecca. Her name's, her name's Rebecca. Is that right, Rebecca? Yeah. Did she cry? Mm -hmm. Did she cry? Did she cry? So she teared up, but she had her makeup all done and everything for the pictures, and we had pictures <laughs> to take afterwards. Oh, so oh she's she secretly really cursing you, like. Yeah, she's like, you're going to mess up now. the rest of our pictures. Yeah. She'd fit right don't, in with us. Don't, 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 my makeup, don't, don't, my makeup's perfect. We just spent $200 <laughs> to get my face done. Yeah, how dare you? Here I am calling it yeah. thoughtful. I'm just kidding. That's wonderful. They're, the photos are gorgeous and you'll treasure those, I'm sure, for years. I love it. Thanks. Yeah, I, I do have a question. That. I do have a question. Um, this it might be a little personal, but um, when, for us, you know, two of us are, you know, Val and Mickey are married. I, I'm, I'm divorced, but I have a boyfriend that I've had for two years and we live together. But when mm -hmm. I post stuff about him and I, I get a lot of hate, like comments, like, um, I still, oh, yeah. they're just not very nice. And so when I post something about him and I, on, mm -hmm. on social media, I have to be really on it going delete, delete, block, 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 because they're, they don't want to see happy. Yeah. They want yeah. to see, see you taken. They don't want to see mm -hmm. you taken. And I, I assume you know, there's a lot of like females that, that 
have crushes on all of all the baseball guys yeah, and things like exactly. that. There's gotta be some that are like, congratulations, but <laughs> call me. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I think I, I get that every once in a while. I think she gets it worse than I do for oh, some yeah, reason. For sure. um, you know, like all the guys that whatever, like thought they had something or at them pass or something like that, you know, DMing her and stuff like that. And so she probably gets a little bit worse than I do. And it, it's, it, it's definitely frustrating for me. I really just want to drive yeah. to their house and you know, right. See, this is the rage coming person, out that we keep but... encouraging. <laughs> see, yes, yes. <laughs> beat people up. <laughs> promos, promos, promos. We'll write your promos. Oh, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. there's some scripted Nikki, monologues Nikki. to be like, ding dong, mm-hmm. hi. So you are a bleep, 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 bleep. So perfect. Yeah. You know what's weird? It's like, it's like when I first got with my boyfriend and he didn't know anything about pro wrestling at all. Mm-hmm. And he goes, hey, who's this Jack? I mean, jerk yeah. off, whatever. Like, do you know this or, guy? I go, you know, it's a fan. I go, would you, would you please ignore them? I go, they're trying to cause problems between us. They don't want to see me happy and I'm happy and I'm expressing it. I'm sharing it with everybody how happy I am. Like, just ignore it. You have yeah. to, yeah. You have to mm-hmm. right? It's bad. Yeah, it's part of the business. Crossover, like from who's not in an industry, especially it's like, it's hard too. I think what, you know what it's cool that she's going to school for pharmacy and stuff because she's mm-hmm. had to dedicate an immense amount of time to schooling and stuff it's like because when you have like stuff like baseball or for us like wrestling or acting or any of these things that you're going after it, it requires like you know so many hours of just like mm-hmm. working and working at it and trying to like do all this and then now once then once you make it you think oh oh it's going to be easier now but it's not it's 10 no. times harder because now yeah. you have to travel mm-hmm. you have to you have you guys do they still bus in you or no do you guys still have buses or uh, flights or like we yeah, don't yeah, get yeah. our so own we, airplane stuff. okay yeah so we, we we fly private and have private buses and everything which is nice so we don't even have to go to the airport or anything oh wow oh, nice yeah That's yeah crazy. we just we just drive the bus right up to the to the plane so we, That's we, cool. we get, yeah we get away from the fans for the most part what a baller! I didn't know this. Oh my god, I made it! I made a sports pun. I called you a baller. You did. Yeah. You did. <laughs> I am the feminist so made a Knocked it out of the park. She did another one. That the called for a shot. Yeah. That was for another shot. Yay! That's another shot. Another shot. Oh goodness! I'll take a. Shot. I don't either. Yeah. I just, yeah. I'm just doing a sippy. sippy. Sip and enjoy. My Halloween glass, by the way. One hundred percent that bitch. <laughs> Bringing it back. Oh my gosh. Oh I my God. The, I'm from Virginia. So we used, now we have the flying squirrels. We only, we don't have a real, we, I mean, we do have a real bait. I don't mean like that. We have a, like a double A team. So now it's yeah, the flying okay. squirrels. It used mm-hmm. to be the Richmond Braves, which was the yeah, team. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The under team for uh, Atlanta Braves, which is who you play for now. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I think a few years before I got drafted in 2016 is when they switched over and they moved Someone down to Gwinnett. Mm-hmm. I still work with them. I talked to Parney. Do you, I don't, you probably don't know that league, but it's like mm-hmm. I talked to Parney, a bunch of people there. I love them. They're so great. Flying Squirrels. Okay. I used yeah, to yeah, yeah. Richmond Brave games before that. So, yeah, they're okay. still at the time and all that. Isn't it like like playing for the minors? It's, it's just, there, there's a group of hungry people, just like us when we were like in the in the mm-hmm. back in the day when we were not in WWE. You're so freaking hungry. Oh, there's hungry. some talented talent to people on the team. Oh, yeah. Like, I love, it was yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I think yeah. I think the 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 biggest part about it is like understanding that you know your teammates are your friends and you know you develop relationships and friendships, but the ultimate goal for everybody is Major. to get to the big leagues. Um, right. And so so there's a little bit of selfishness that's involved there, and it has to be to, yeah, to an extent. Yeah. yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's like yeah. crazy because you are playing a team, team sport, but there is like that sense of individuality, and you have to be. You're still in business Pushing for yourself. yourself at the end yeah. of the day. Like mm-hmm. You're playing for yeah, the team. Absolutely. You're at the end of the day, you have to play for yourself first. It's like a weird mm-hmm. dichotomy, right? It's a balance. Yeah. It's balance. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I don't really think people scary. realize how much work goes into, you know, any sort of an athlete uh, career. And it's just, there's so much more to it. It's like, oh, you have to be good at sports. You have to, but I mean, even just like I said earlier about your schedule and stuff like that, finding someone who's okay with putting up with that. And just, mm-hmm. it's just a grueling uh, career, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I think the biggest part that a lot of people don't realize is, so like with baseball, you know, we finish up early November and go back, we don't have to go back till February. You know, they're like, oh, you get four months of vacation, but it's really not a vacation. We're still working and trying to get better and yeah, and stuff like that. But um, 
you know, definitely have more time to like enjoy myself and, you know, do the things I like, but you know, there's still, you know, at some yeah, point in every day you're, you're, you're trying to get better. They don't realize though, that once you go back, you go straight into spring training and then mm -hmm. you're playing like every single night almost. Like, yeah. Where's, yeah. where's spring training for you? Where's spring we're, training? Uh, we're down to, we just moved down to Sarasota, Florida. Ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. oh, when nice. I go home, I go home to Orlando, Florida. That that's home for me. Okay. You know, we have, have you ever been yeah. to like the? I don't know if it's called the same thing anymore, but there used to be a wide wide world of sports uh, down yeah, in Disney. So, a lot of people would train there. So up until up until last year, that was our spring training facility. No way! That's, I love yeah, it. Yeah, that's where that's where we were every every spring uh, up until last year. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, very cool. Well, we're yeah. so excited. We have a reason now to tune in for baseball. Yes. 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 I'm you know what? Been, Vicky's saying she can't I, picture you know me. What? I need an Atlanta Braves. I, I, I might have to like which uh, um, Atlanta Braves hat, you guys, instead of the Cubs. Yeah, you might need some gear yeah. to rep. My, oh, my God. Yeah. I'll get hopefully, so much hatred can, from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we can win the World Series this year and you can get you a World Series hat. Hell yeah. You can, yeah. <laughs> you can do it. We have faith in you. Cheers to that. Here's to you guys winning the World Series. Yeah. Let's put that in the universe Thank now. You. We're putting Cheers. it out in the universe. Cheers. Like it's it, okay. It's rude. It's rude not to do the shot with you guys. Okay. Yeah. She needed that's some my, liquid courage. That's my really quickly. Anyways, but um uh do you find it like when you are on your break? Because when I retired from wrestling and being around my loved one, uh, my and my ex-husband, I mm -hmm. think that was the demise. Is like I was home way too much where I was like used to being gone four days a week and then coming home for two days a week and mostly sleeping to catch up on my rest and going to the gym, tanning, you know, Botox, because we have to look the, the essentials. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, the it's essential. and all that kind of stuff. But you get so used to being like a little bit like closed off from your your mate because you spend so much time from your from your coworkers, like your teammates. And, um, is, it, is, it, is it a hard transition? You're like, maybe the, the wife goes, okay, hey, dude, you need, this is you, a lot of you at home. You need to go yeah. somewhere. You need to go to your mom and dad's house or something, yeah. right? I, th I, think, I think to an extent for, for me and her, um, when I, like when I come home, it, it's not it's not too bad because like when I come home, she still has a little bit of schooling stuff that she's doing. So oh. she's busy with that. And then, you know, I'm I'm always on the go when I'm at home, you know, in and out of, out of tree stands, you know, and doing whatever kind of hunting stuff that I'm doing. Um, so, so yeah. we, you know, it's not like we're just sitting at home all day long with each other, and both bored and just like, having to put still up here, with like one of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, there you are again. You're still here. Yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah She's right though. Because if you're on the road and then you, you're home all the time, especially <laughs> even people like with a normal nine to five, now they're getting it. They're home all the time because of COVID, and it's like, oh my god, I'm going to murder the person that I'm with because yeah. I can't stand seeing their face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I, should, I watch Netflix, should I watch Netflix again? Should yeah. I watch Netflix? Yeah. Turns out again, a lot of my I... friends don't actually like their husbands. It's like, oh, you really don't like spending time with them. You're not giving out 20%, but yeah. Well, they got engaged during COVID. So it's yeah. like, we always yeah, you said, are, like, oh, you are like the main right? break of a relationship because you're like forced to hang out with this person all the time now. So it's really yeah. going to test you whether, like, whether you all you hear is them chewing mm -hmm. or yeah. Yeah. whatever the thing yeah. is. Yeah, and I, I think yeah, yeah. I know the thing for us is like so like when I eventually so they delayed our season when I eventually went back, you know, she was still in school, but it was all virtual. Yeah. So in a in a you know, to an extent, COVID like really helped our relationship because we were able to spend a lot more time together. Yeah. And if I was in a full season and she's having to go to class every day, you know, we don't really get to see each other that often. Right. Yeah. Um, so, so to an extent, it, it helped us because uh, we, yeah. we spend a lot more time together. Yeah. You're not wondering, you're not texting, hey, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm in class instead of going, I'm doing the laundry again. You know what I yeah. mean? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's got her own. Uh -huh. She sounds like an absolute god. Yeah, absolute she grown like woman. Yeah, she, yeah sure. she's got her own life, her own career. Yeah. We love that. Mm -hmm. We love her. We yeah, might yeah, want to yeah, be yeah, our we might, yeah, I was gonna say, she might be our next guest. Yeah, right, yeah, and that's, that's the biggest thing for me that I respect about her is like, you know, I'm making money, I'm doing my own thing, but, you know, she's still about to school and finishing school and stuff like that. And, you know, she's, she's told me she's like, because for me, when she graduates, if she wants to work, that's cool. But she's told me, she said, I'm working. 
I was like, well, you don't yeah. have to if you don't want to. But she's like, I'm going to work. I'm going to make my own money. And, you know, I respect that about her. So What a babe. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Little babe. I love that for you, too, because I think I find that <clears throat> I find that a lot of people, especially when you get to this level of success or whatever, because there's certain people that like run in those circles. And I've always been that type of person. Like, I don't care how much money I have or how successful you are. I am, I'm mm -hmm. always going to do something because I will go crazy yeah. sitting at home. Oh, God. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I'm not uh -huh. the person to just sit at home and go shopping and like, just do nothing. All day. I'm just not that person. It's just not the way my yeah. brain works. So I don't comprehend when other people's mind doesn't work that way. Like, so I don't know. I don't know how women can sit back and just like chill and just go shopping. But there and, are types that love it. And I will yeah. call out my friend Meredith. I love her death. She, I'm going to I'm going to say her name because she will know this conversation, how funny it was. So <laughs> when I first moved to England, my husband's British AF and he, uh, I moved here and I was like, okay, so I have to have like an office job. He, he's like the most, when you picture a British person, I'm like a cravat, that's my husband. There he is. Um, she and I were talking one time when I came back home to Orlando and I was like, girl, I'm, I'm really not adjusting well because I now was not on the road as much. I had a job where I was doing like social media and stuff and I was just home not doing much. I said, I literally like my whole life is just kind of on the computer sometimes. And I just shop and like make spa appointments to like entertain myself and go have wine with friends. That's all I do. And she was like, Val, that is the life I have always wanted. I'm like, no, 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 I'm bored. It's terrible. She goes, girl, <laughs> the life of leisure. She goes, that's all I want to do. I was like, okay, we're very different. <laughs> have a shot. Yeah, yeah you're, you're different. Like, no. yeah. <laughs> she yeah, was like, I'm so bored. She was like, oh my God, brilliant. Well, do you think like maybe like um, um for all of us, since we're athletes, we're so self aware like we're, we're such independent workers we're like because our greatness only comes from our talent ourself not the other i mean not the other person that we're like such hustlers and go-getters that makes us like to sit at home i can't do either no. i still have to be doing a job that kind yeah. of thing you know what i mean so it's like yeah. do you feel like it's like part of our sports background it's the way we're wired so but yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. It fascinates me when people who are wired like this don't end up with other people who are wired that way, that they end I up know. with people who are mm. just like happy to sit at home and just or do whatever. And I'm like, that would make me insane. I would lose my mind. I would too. All I of it. Do it. What's yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll find myself sometimes, like I have a couple of buddies that own farms and say I wake up and I'm like, I don't really want to just go lift weights today. I'll go work on his farm for free just to get a workout oh wow it gives me something oh else to do is that on your instagram are there posts on the instagram of you doing that that's amazing i don't think so the uh -uh. fans would love that yes <laughs> oh my god hey, 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 hey what kind of hay is it and while yeah. you throw the hay bales you can throw some on a truck and then when you guys drive through you can just drop off the hay bales for me yeah oh hey Hey, absolutely. Okay. Oh, you need to film that, right? You need to oh, yeah. film that. Yeah, I, I need to get better about my social medias and, and um, doing more off-season content and stuff like that. Yeah, um, it's time. I'm just, I'm just the type, I don't take the time to like, oh, hey, let's video this. Let's take a picture. I'm just busy with what I'm doing. It's genius. <laughs> it really is. It's the work to like actually take the, they're very good about yeah. it, especially Val. She's very good about that. Val is, Val is. I Val love me. the idea of doing it, but then to actually take the time to then set up the camera in the mix <laughs> doing it i'm like in it i'm doing it so i need somebody, yeah. else. If somebody else was there to hold the camera for me i'd probably it'd be awesome yeah. Yeah. exactly uh -huh. or someone tells you what to do yeah, yeah. I mean, there was like um, val was telling me um i did a we have a patreon page it's like a members thing that just you shows, mean like, patreon.com slash god tv that's it <laughs> so glad you <laughs> mentioned I, I was like going you know i'm not i'm not the glamorous one of the crew i'm i'm the tomboy with a baseball cap and um you know, with the workout clothes, that's, that's, that's my, my, that's my glam. That's my glam. I'm, I'm, I'm tomboy chic. And I, I did a video of me washing my dogs and Val was like, I can watch that, watch that all day. I go, I'm washing my dogs. But it was just banter and kids. funny and her being just like and Lisa, like it's normal. great. Yeah. They were like, I see more normal. So and then I also so videoed. So crazy. It's so crazy. Like steam cleaning the carpets. Remember I posted yeah. that. And then she loves to steam clean. Steam, like, I was like, what? Mm -hmm. It's their favorite thing. Well, and, and the thing that I've realized is like when you do stuff like that, it gets you like unexpected free stuff. Yeah. You know, via social media. It's like if you t take a picture of you vacuuming with a Dyson vacuum, oh. they might send you a new vacuum cleaner or something oh, like that. Genius. <laughs> you know? 
Yep. Let me write so, that down. Cat, <laughs> cat goes, back in tag Hoover's going to yeah. come calling to Lisa. Hi, this is Mr. Hoover. I just wanted to I say. I never even thought about that. I always thought, too, it just kind of makes you more, like, feel like a more of a human being to a lot mm -hmm. of people. Yeah. Let them Personal. Like, social media is a blessing and a curse because it is a really amazing to bring awareness to your brands or if you are working on like that's the one thing about being a professional athlete regardless of which brand you are because you are devoted to that brand when it comes to that yeah. thing but when you have other projects going on whether it's businesses or t-shirts or you know this that and the third social media gives you an outlet to get, be able to go to those mm -hmm. people but it also i think allows the people there to see a different side of you because they've always looked at uh, you know stars oh. superstars yeah. and all these Mm -hmm. I think that's the difference is because when I used to look at superstars, you would look at these, you know, famous baseball players, basketball players, football players, wrestlers for me, like Macho Man and all these, people, and yeah. they were so untouchable and so unobtainable. Like that's what made them superstars. And so mm -hmm. now there's a different layer that's pulled back. Yeah. To they yeah. almost are we're too accessible to aspect yeah. of our lives mm -hmm. that then also, but then it also, I feel like that's where everybody has a voice. So the, now that they're, that curtain's pulled back a little bit more, they feel like they have a little bit more voice into your life. But yeah, mm -hmm. totally. They don't because I just delete them and block them. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Blocking is our cardio. We've gotten very good at it in our old ages. <laughs> I, I looking, hit this one all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, just swipe them. Yeah, don't yeah. give them attention. Just swipe them, get them out of here. This but looking like, forward to uh, the rest of 20... <laughs> looking forward to the rest of 2021, do you have any personal goals? Just as a final question, like, for you, is it more about like a goal? Would it be more like winning a certain number of games or is it do you have more personal yes, goals yes. or? Um, I think, I think for me, it's, it's just re like reestablishing, you know, I finished the year really well, you know, I struggled before that, but I finished the year well. I think for me personally, it's just reestablishing, you know, that, you know, I can continue to do what I did to finish the year. Yeah. Um, and then all, obviously, you know, I just want to help the team you know, get to the ultimate goal. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that that's the big thing. You know, I can do as well as I can, but as long as I help the team to get to get to that ultimate goal, I think I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, after He's all, there is no I in team, but there is an I in tequila. So we'll say cheers to that. Yeah, it's his favorite. <laughs> I, I do have a question, too. Like, no, I, I, I know, Val. Good segue. You should be shot mastered. I was I was. I was shot master on one show and I got it pulled away because no. I was like, that it's calls for a shot. Title. That calls for, yeah, it's, it was bad. It was sloppy. It was a bad but, um, I, is there, is there, um, Bryce, is there hazing like there is in wrestling? Like when, like when you're a rookie, we're put Yeah, I, I'll, I'll say yeah. the only thing I'll say is that there is, I mean, there, to an extent, um, I, they, they cut back on it a it's lot because it, it, it used to be, it used to be. Yeah, it used to be really bad, but but there is uh, there there are certain instances. It's like welcome to the team, this that and the other. Um, yeah. Their bags are hanging up from the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some of these playful pranks are funny, but then some of it's like, uh, you know, uh, yeah. My goodness, yeah. I gotta go through the effort to redo what you guys did, and whatever yeah. you know, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> your laces are all but, at least the other way. Yeah, but I mean, oh, yeah, I'll yeah. say it, it's not as bad as the stories I've heard of how it used to be. Um, and okay. I guess, you know, so. Same. Yeah. Well, if anybody yeah. messes with you, you know us. where we are. We're right here on God TV. Yeah, every absolutely. I'll just, I'll just give you guys a call for sure. <laughs> Lisa's just itching to get some, get somebody's somebody face, I think. I got your back. I got your back. <laughs> got your back. Yeah, well, thank yeah. you for being but, here, Bryce. We don't want to take too oh, much of your Bryce, time. We're oh, so excited to have a friend in the baseball genre that we can root yeah. for coming up. So we're very yeah. excited for that. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Here, so Bryce, 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 another shot. Another shot. Yeah. Cheers. Take me out well, to the ball game. <laughs> Thank y'all for having me. It was a pleasure. Thank you. A lot of Thank fun. You. It was a real definitely home run. One of the, yeah, yeah, definitely one of the more fun, fun podcasts and videos that I've done for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.